How are you? How are all my pretties? Anyway, this is Anne, and I'm hanging out on a, on a Saturday evening, trying to figure out what to do with this Ipsy Glam bag. Anyway, I decided I was going to, to try one to see how it went, and I'm doing this more on a budget review than a oh isn't this pretty review now granted it really is pretty but that's not why I'm doing this I love the bag I love the bag and off she went to change the world which is a lovely sentiment it's a wonderful little bag in that wonderful little bag I got a Skin of Iceland lip conditioner, which I love. It tastes wonderful. It made my lips really, really soft, really, really quick, which, I, yeah, good stuff. I got one of the Space Case eyeshadows that, if you've been watching anybody else's Ipsy Glam Bag openings, you've probably seen this one already. This is the Alien Love Child, and it's a duochrome purpley thing with a blue shift to it. I've smeared it on my hand. I like it. It's really pretty. I got the Jolie... lip liquid lip and this one it's it's hard to tell because it's got a frosted tube but it's this really pretty raspberry shade really pretty and I got a brush which is a fancy thing with glitters and sparkles and rhinestones and kind of nifty nice brush little short packer or shader depending on how you want to call it and then the last thing is I have because of this bag I now have my first Ofra piece it's the Ofra Star Island Highlighter. And it's this gorgeous champagne-y color. And people are right, okay? I will give, the, give this to them. They are right. They say when you rub your finger on it, it's buttery and smooth. And it's really pretty. And yeah, it's really pretty. And it's buttery and smooth. I really like it. Now, let me give you the skinny on this thing. You're paying a $10 subscription fee. This is definitely worth the $10 subscription fee, even if you only got this one piece. This one piece, going by regular retail, is $35. Okay? The rest of the pieces... Um, the Berry Lip Fix from Skin Iceland is $14. The eyeshadow from Space Case, the Alien Love Child, is $9. The Jolie Lux Cream Matte Lipstick is $18. The brush, the brush took a little fiddling to try to find a number for. And that's because 
they, they, they usually just sell them in sets. So I don't know how, you know, if Ipsy works something out with them or what. Um, the, the only number I could find for a single was through eBay, which was $13. So altogether, you're looking at $89 worth of cosmetics. And it's a $10 subscription. You can stop it at any time. I'm telling you, I'm thinking that one's worth it if it fits in your budget. The other thing I'm going to bring up is a piece that I picked up off of eBay. Not eBay. What am I saying? Amazon. There are some people who will use Amazon and some people who will not use Amazon. I am not here to debate that. I am here to talk about the fact that if you kind of stalk the makeup collections that they have on Amazon, if you are willing to do this, you can find some of the most amazing, just like out of the blue, strange deals. Okay, I've been using Beauty Glazed for a long time, okay? It's not a big company unless you look at how many things are they do private label for. Because mm. um, you'll order some stuff that'll say it's from another company and it'll come in and it'll actually be a Beauty Glazed product. Anyway, this is the Strelitza or Star palette. And it's a very pretty thing. It really is. We got some gorgeous stuff in here. Pretty colors, right? Well, and this was on free shipping. It wasn't technically prime. It just said free shipping on the advert for it. They had this one down to $3.99. Now, I went back and I've been stalking again. And I have found this palette that somebody else has put up at $5.99. And that's currently the cheapest one I've found. But it's a decent... I've got a ton of stuff over here in my collection that is beauty glazed. And I like it. It's not perfect, but it fits my budget. What I'm going to tell you is if you're going to do these budget busters like this, go through and actually read the comments. Don't just look at star ratings or any of that. Go actually read the comments because some of them you're going to be able to tell that some of the employees have done these comments regardless um some of them are actually very good and helpful comments it's up to you whether or not you're willing to take a risk on something that's not a big name that's up to you anyway i've had pretty good luck with it I'm not telling you to run right out and do this. I'm just saying, I've had pretty good luck with it, and it fits my budget, and it has made a difference in the fact that I now have a collection big enough to do some stuff with. No, it's not the high-end stuff. But I've got enough colors that if somebody says, here, I want to do this palette, I can probably go through the collection and either, you know, even if it's one piece out of each palette, manage to put together enough similar colors that I could do a collaboration with somebody who wants to use a specific palette. So, yeah. This is, like I said, this is up to you. If you want to do the budget and this works in your budget, go for it. Go through and stalk the heck out of places that are selling palettes. Look. Read the information. Do some research. And if you have a space in your budget for the Ipsy or any of the other low price 
because there are some other $10 subscriptions. Go for it. I mean, at the, like I said, at this point, it was worth it just for this one piece. Retail price of $35, bucks, and I paid $10 for this whole collection. So, yeah. I'm not so worried about doing, you know, the fancy unboxing and here's all the stuff. And it, I'm looking at this strictly from a budget standpoint. If you like makeup, want to try some high-end stuff, can't afford to do a big buy or to go to Sephora and pick up the real thing or Ulta and pick up the real thing, Try one of the boxes. Try one of the, the subscription boxes, you know, because you know, the worst you could do is get just a winky sample of something. I got one of the Sephora Play boxes, just, you know, it was a leftover and bought it straight out. I didn't do their subscription. And I got some interesting stuff, including a sample of the Bad Girl Bang Mascara, which is wonderful stuff. Am I going to buy the full size? Probably not. But I got to try it. I got to look at it. I got to play with it. I got to be able to compare it to other things that I have. So, you know, it was worth it. What do you think? If you want to give it a try, let me know. Let's talk about it. I mean, you know, let's start a conversation on this budget stuff and, you know, sneaking a few things under the wire with the budget. You know, get yourself a nice palette. Stock the sellers. Look for stuff. You may surprise yourself with what you can get. Now, there are some companies that will make some of you crazy. And there's a couple of companies that have come out recently, like Copycat, and another company that I ran into on Amazon called Duped Makeup. And they say straight up that they are duping particular pieces. And I'm going, this ain't right. I mean, some of the other ones are doing similar setups with a little difference, but they're not just rubbing it in the face of the big name that they're taking their inspiration from. Now, me, I don't mind so much getting one of the inspired pieces because I'm not going to buy the big one anyway. I don't have that kind of money. I'm not going to buy a big name brand palette because I don't have the money. But I don't think it's a good idea or an ethical idea to rub it in their face that you are copycatting or duping, directly duping. It's like... That's just rude. I mean, we've had the the copy copycat perfumes forever in the discount stores. It's like, you know, compare to, you know, inspired by in the perfumes forever. I mean, you can go in there during Christmas and they're setting out all these perfumes and stuff and it says compare to white diamonds and you know, that kind of thing. But they're not making a big, splashy deal out of it and rubbing it in the face of the big, um, original, fancy designer brands. Copycat is doing that. And I think that's just trashy. It really is. And to put that huge campaign up with that, with, with a chick that is known for being as badass as she possibly can and rude about it, 
and putting that on YouTube, it's just rubbing their faces in it. Something that, you know, a company that's called Duped Cosmetics. I mean, do you have to get right up in their face and go, Nanny Boo Boo, I duped your crap. You know, and, and I'm selling it for peanuts. Yeah, not so nice. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. I'm going to run away now. It's kind of late where I am, which means for some of you it's even later, and for some of you it's even earlier. Hey, anyway, happy St. Patty's Day. That's where I am right now. I just crossed the line past midnight on St. Patrick's Day here in southeastern Oregon. And I will see you in the next one. Be good.